grandmas, we're grandmas, grandmas, we're searching for our grandmas. Girls with glasses here. That's right. Brooke over summer. there, summer every year. <laughs> We're That's talking right. about grandmas. We're talking about our grandmas. We love them. We do. They lived in the 40s. They they did. 1940. We're here at the computer. That's right. The first destination. Second destination. Ancestry.com. My grandmother is the most genealogy loving person that I know. So it's only right that I search her. Like she always says, just hanging out with my dead folks today. Kind of sounds creepy, but it's really sweet. She was born actually in the year 1940, March 1st to be exact. So I went back and I looked up the census report and this is what I found. Uh, there's not a lot of information for her because she was just a newborn, so she didn't have a job yet. Come on, Grandma, get with it. Uh, but I did find some information about her parents. There they are, right there at the bottom, highlighted in green. And I found out that her parents, Faith and David, were both managers at uh, a dry cleaning business, which is kind of uncanny because my grandmother is kind of like a laundry machine. Uh, the story goes that whatever was on the floor went into the washing machine, whether it was dirty or clean or belonged to the washing machine. So it's funny that her roots are in laundry. <laughs> my grandma Margaret. Her middle name is Elizabeth, her mother's name is Elizabeth, and also my middle name is Elizabeth. So that's where I got my name. So I already have, I think, a very strong connection with her and I loved her. She was one of my favorite people in the whole entire world. Um, so I'm, I was really excited to pull her family up and see what they were doing in 1940. She's 23 and she's working as a teacher. Her father is a farm laborer and he's actually out of work. So she is the breadwinner of the family. I have a long history of women who are strong and hard workers in my family and and I just like her and I love her and it was really I just like looking at these and, and I feel the connection to her. These emotions. I'm pregnant, so that's definitely part of it. But looking at these words and these records of history and of your family. It's so emotional and you just really feel connected to them and you love them. Even her parents who I've never met, it just um, it brings me closer to them and, and I love doing this. It's so much fun. I never would have thought. Whew. Okay. Thanks everybody. Thanks for coming and checking out our grandmothers. Yes, you too can find your grandma in the 40s over at Ancestry.com. It's addicting. Beware. That's right. Like you think, oh that sounds boring. You get in there, you won't be able to stop. Yeah. Really, really some good grandma songs. There are. Maybe we should write them. Over by That's not a very nice song. song.